Hey guys, my name is Glenn Reed, and I'm just an average guy cooking things that if I can cook, you can too. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to take some New York steak and ground sausage and turn it into a burger like this. It's delicious, and as you can see here, I also served it up with some homemade bacon and cheddar and garlic uh, tater tots. So if you'd like to see a description on that or a tutorial on that, I'll leave it down in the description below and a card will also pop up here. But let's go ahead and dive into today's recipe. So a few things we're gonna need to start our recipe is two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of table salt, and two tablespoons of garlic and herb breadcrumbs. And then one of my favorites, we're gonna be using one pound of Jimmy Dean sausage. This is the original regular flavor, but you can use spicy or hot if you choose to, to spice it up a little bit. And we're also gonna take two pounds of New York steak. And these have been chilled in the freezer for a couple hours to make them cut easier. So let's begin by cubing up our steaks. Uh, now I know it's tempting to cut the fat off this meat, but you do want to leave the fat on there because the fat content is also what makes a burger and helps it to, to hold together. But I start by slicing them like this and then I take the slices and I cut them into smaller cubes. Once we have our steak all cubed up, then we're gonna take out our food processor. Now, this is a Ninja food processor. It has a lot of power, and this is using a power blade that has been uh, chilled in the freezer for about an hour as well. And we're gonna go ahead and stick about half of our meat into the food processor. And I'll also leave a, a link in the description for this food processor as well, in case you're interested. Uh, but then we're just going to go ahead and uh, pulse it a little bit just to break up this initial amount of meat. And once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and throw the remainder of our meat in there. Now you might have to, to put a little bit less in there at a time uh, just because this Ninja is pretty powerful and with this blade it does handle the meat very well. Uh, so depending on what you have is how much you're going to put in there. But we're going to go ahead and uh, pulse the rest of our meat until we've got it to a good consistency. As you can see here, this looks like some very good quality, fresh ground beef. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take our uh, Jimmy Dean sausage and put it into a bowl. kind of flatten it out a little bit there. And now we're gonna take our freshly ground New York steak and we're gonna add it to the bowl. Now we're going to go ahead and take our salt, pepper, and breadcrumbs and, and add them to the mixture. A lot of people will disagree with this and they'll say to put the salt and pepper on after and there's nothing wrong with that. This is just the way that I prefer to do it. But let's go ahead and just mix it all together here. And 
now once we've got it all mixed together, uh, here I have a, a hamburger press. This works great for, for making patties even. Uh, I'm gonna be doing one third pound hamburgers with this and this recipe will make you about 10 burgers. And I'll also leave a link uh, down in the description below for, uh, where you can find one of these. Uh, but this definitely helps to produce good even sized burgers. Just take the patty and you're going to place it on some parchment paper and then just repeat the process until you've got all your hamburger meat made into patties. And now that we've got all of our patties made, we're going to go ahead and, and stick these in the freezer for about another half an hour or so. This will help to keep the hamburger meat together while you're cooking it just makes things a little bit easier. And now that we've got our patties nice and chilled, it's time to stick them on the grill. I prefer my patties a little bit more on the medium well side, so I cook them to about 145 internal temp. Then I start to throw the, the buns on the grill as well, just to get those nice and toasted. And once they're toasted to the, your liking, then it's time to pull them out and start to make your burgers. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. I know I'll be enjoying it here in just a few seconds. But if you have any questions or comments or if you've made this recipe, please leave it down in the comment section below and let us all know. Uh, I'd be glad to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and as well as that uh, bell so you'll get notified of future recipes. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.